we've mentioned it many times. He has a 9.45 unofficial 100 meter record. I just think he recorded that by himself, he said. So we're not sure if that's quick, but he is quick. So seven minutes each way in this cup semi final. And here we go. Brady Gent will get us started for the Panthers from Grand Rapids. Free kick. A huge kick. It doesn't go 10 meters though. Played by the Panthers. So a short on penalty here to St. Mary's. And Joseph Reevy, the coach, looks on. Is with the SFPD. Police off charge here of this game. Former legend for the St. Mary's Gales. Captain's got Matthews outside of him. His right foot is heavily bandaged, but it won't stop him making a good few meters. As Dylan Orsley looks on, one of their players. To watch out for in this game, and one of the players, best players in the country, there he goes straight away. Orsley! Good see cut through like a right, and it's 5 0 to the Gales. Wardsley stamps himself on this final very, very early semi-final. Slices right through. Great analogy from Dallas there for the Samurai Sword. If you see it right through there, hardly has to use the fan. Quick change of direction. This is not what Davenport needed. They did not need St. Mary's getting on a roll early on. They don't need that man building in confidence throughout this game. The Vampire adds the extra points. Those two players, they were the ones that scored all the points in the D1A final for the 15th competition. In that 30 point to 24 victory over Life University. And straight away, it's Ordsley. Played with the Wasps Academy in the UK. He's also spent the summer in Auckland, New Zealand last year. He gets us back underway. The Panthers with Aaron Cummins underneath this. He takes it nicely. Cummins has been one of the aerial specialists here for the Davenport Panthers. The counter ruck is nope. good as Zarnecki flicks it away. So Davenport get a chance here with Jet. He controls things. Moves it one passage wider. And batters it up there. Good run there from Anthony Marquez. And now this is Cheslick. Cheslick to the halfway line. Brady Jet stepping and going. Puts people on the ground. All these down hurt. The ball's on the inside. Cheslick being chased by O'Connor. It's truck on. Kick to come. Davenport, Brady Jet take a bow. Outstanding effort from him on that far touchline. Cheslick backing up on the inside. Looks like a couple of St. Mary's players got now, tangled up due to the footwork of Brady Jet. Exactly what the doctor orders. The conversion is successful. Seven points apiece. What a great semi final we've got. Watch here. It looks like Matthews. Oh, yeah. Hortsley just gets sat down. Young it over the top. Well, snipers out in full force early on here. Certainly are. Cheslick born when meat was cheap. A huge unit. He's got the pace to match as well. Three minutes gone on the stadium clock. And Jet. Magic skills here from the playmaker for the Davenport University side. He goes deep. The vampires underneath. This hasn't slept all night, but he's still going strong. Horsley moves it across to. McCarthy, the captain, also the senior year for him. And now the vampire gets scragged. They go to the far side with O'Connor. So O'Connor's dad earlier, and he's very proud of his son's achievements here. He's a senior as well, captain of the 15th program. Release. And they will get a penalty. So flipped back in field. Alec Barton has got Orsley flying up. This time they mark him. London born. Flying sensation is stopped there just outside the 22. The ball goes over the top. What a miracle pass to O'Connor. Known as O'Chees because he hates the stuff as he gets to the halfway line. Murphy's there. Crazy legs. Draws two. Here they go. The captain. The pass. It'll work. Matthews on the outside. Will go in untouched. And that will break the deadlock here in the cup semi final. As he flirts with the. Line over there, very close. The yeah, referee Harrison right on the spot though. As Matthews brings it around for an easier conversion. It could come down to a conversion at the end too. Between these two sides, another try for this young sensation. It was great work there from the Vampire. That pass, one bounce, picks it up. 
you can see Cheslick for Davenport just exhausted. Can't keep up, and right here, Jet does extremely well. Just gets that pull down before the dead ball line. It was conversion is successful, so the effort is worth it for Matthews. 14 points to seven. Mike McCarthy did well, the Irish dancer to keep up there. And the Vampire always in support. St. Mary's has struck back, two tries to one. And Aaron Matthews, he owns a horse named Elliot. Elliot will be proud of the performance so far. Ball snaffled there, taken by Mike Lau, the 22-year-old, and then Barton steals it. So it's O'Cheese. Gap opens up for him, but he goes wide to McCarthy. Youngert goes over the top towards Lee Austin, race for the line, he cuts back in, gets the pass in, and who else? The Vampire! Bloody defenders everywhere. He gets underneath the post, try number three. Well, Youngert, he's been supporting the inside pass all tournament. He rips the rewards here. He backs up Audsley back on the inside. Great footwork from Audsley. Passes back. Combination. Youngin and Audsley proving too much for Davenport early on. Lovely kick there as well from Youngin. We know his whole family's watching. And his father yesterday. Mother lost a couple weeks ago at the other championship. And his three brothers are tuning in, watching, supporting the young vampire as he goes on his journey. Kick taken here from Davenport. They need to get back in this game. Taken there by Trevor Rothfuss. Now Chet. See if he can step his way through. He's got a lot of defenders. He throws a dummy. Gets handled there by the Gales defense. Men from Moraga, California. Hold strongly. Up by 21 to 7. Davenport with the possum Rothfuss. And now Zarnecki. No, Zarnecki cuts free. There he goes. And Zarnecki and Audrey. A foot race between two of the speedsters. Zarnecki slows up. Oh, no. Audrey. Oh, my goodness. He's gone down like the social networking site, MySpace. And Zarnecki scores a try. The crowd erupt. He's in a little bit of pain there, Zarnecki, too, after that effort. He'll feel a little better knowing that he's got his side back in this game. Go off like that. <laughs> this will look good on the replay. Zarnecki puts the handbrake on here. Hordsley. Oh, and the crowd loved that too. But it's not over yet because then he injures himself. Oh, two players going down for the price of one. And that will bring us to half time. 21 12. Zarnecki still down. Very unfortunate here for the Davenport University side because the Panthers will need him. He's a try scoring menace. <laughs> you see the trainer doing some work on Zardecki. It's like a calf or a hamstring. He's uh, on the back of the leg there. That would be a huge loss, Dallin, as we uh, look inside the St. Mary's huddle here. Davenport to come back down 21 points to 12. Zarnecki out there in some way, shape, or form. Let's go down to the Davenport Hustle. One of those five, six, or seven. Make sure you pick that. Good shit. Hey, good great shit. job. We're doing good. Getting up there to get those balls. Just got to retain them, all right? Good job on kickoff. All right? Just got my job. Defense. No Defense. The nice only time they really nice got ball. us was we were sliding sideways again. Keep the pressure. They don't like it. Come up. Come up and get in their face. Okay? We got seven more minutes to win this fucking hey, national championship, boys. Let's go. Hey, there's one thing, one thing. Defensively, we need to work harder on that three guys sliding over. They're cutting us back every time we need that inside support on defense. They're trying to bring us to the corner. Up right now, fired up. As the second half comes underway here, and looking at Joey Reeby there, the coach, the policeman with the shaved hand. And we'll be right back. Is there a smarter way to build your home? What if we can make your family safer without disrupting your design plans? What if we helped you create an evacuation plan with your family to keep them safe from the unexpected, like floods, wind, lightning, and earthquakes? Including us in the construction process leads to worry-free living. So when someone asks you, how did you build your house? You could say, smarter. And welcome back to Rugby Town USA. We are now nearing the big stage, it's the semi-finals, and a place in the final up for grabs. St. Mary's in picture with Dylan Orsley lead 21-12 over Davenport, the Panthers. 
And a big comeback needed here from the men from Grand Rapids. And they'll start with a short uh, penalty on the halfway line. Trevor Rothis will take this. Gent has left it behind him. Rare mistake, but it's still with the Devonport Panthers. Marquez has get stripped there from Audsley. Strength and power from the young man. As now O'Connor sees what he can do. Puts it back to the chainsaw Barton. And now the vampire into play. Open space for the vampire. Flex it to Audsley. Still going. Oh, he looks a bit sore there as he goes to the outside. It's a try. Number two for Aaron Matthews, the man from Los Angeles, California. He has done it again. And a combination of Youngin and Audsley proving beneficial again. Matthews gets his double on the outside. Davenport, they've got to pay better attention to these two, especially when they link up in the midfield like this. Got that down, and wouldn't be surprised if we see uh, Dylan Ballsy make his way to the bench here. They need to rest him up. Good control here is a still plenty of time, six minutes left to play, but probably not worth the risk at this point. As the vampire will look to convert from way out, just misses this one. He's got a few from the sideline. What a season, what a career he's had. That beautiful Moraga, California. St. Mary's College has seen so many great players over the years. One of them is coaching right now, Joey Reeby. So many on the field will graduate at the end of this tournament. The kick is not taken there. Murphy tries to flick it back in. And it's gone into touch. It will be Davenport University lineup. The crazy legs doing his best to keep that ball in. He'll go in the favor of Davenport here. Down by 14 points. Five minutes left to play. Nick Priest takes his place in the game. The marketing junior. They go to Cummins in the middle. Zomberg. Expect a loop around from Zomberg. Jet finds him. Marquez wants the ball. But Zomberg takes it in just outside the 22. Quick recycle here for the Panthers. Cummins. Steps one, then the chainsaw comes and gets him again. Low ball here for Jenny, handles it well, throws the dummy, and gets the flick pass away. Great skills, Priest is there on the inside. Also helping out there. You never made it onside. Was Gent, they draw the penalty. Panthers go quickly. Rothus. Paul's able to bounce, but Marquez is there. Marquez can motor. A oh, strong tackle again from Barton. That's why they're calling the chainsaw. Ready to cut people to shreds. And Jet throws a dummy. Can't get away from McCarthy, the captain. Ball still available here for the Panthers. Good sequence of play. Over the 10 minute mark we go. Dummy thrown there from Mike Lau. And great inside ball. Priest is here. Oh no! Priest gets absolutely eaten by the vampire. Good hit there from Holden Younger as Cummins tries to get around O'Connor. He can't. Jet in there to help out. A lot of touches from the playmaker. Davenport still have possession. Zomber. Fight Jet on the outside. Drops the ball backwards. Murphy's got this for St. Mary's the Gales. Turning defense into attack. It's available. There it is. McCarthy. He's got the jaw in front of him. McCarthy will canter in. And St. Mary's. They've done it again. Wow, what the heck is going on? He's thrown it back to the vampire. I did not expect that. Oh, my goodness. That's as bizarre as I've ever seen. Well, McCarthy looked like he was going to go all the way. Great chase from Priest to come down. And I think Youngett may have thought it was a clove of garlic coming his way. He wanted nothing to do with it and spills it with the try line beckoning. Right there, just sort of stops and says, well, I'll give you another one. And no. Nope. Little mistake. Nine. And uh, their coach, Joe Reeve, I don't think he's going to be very impressed with that. No, certainly not. I think they probably want to get underneath the sticks for an extra seven. The pass wasn't good from the captain. Yeah, yeah. 
Time, though, is elapsing. It's two minutes to go. We've got substitutes there and players exchanging. Time on. Cummins has left. Ten seconds. Crouch. But Jet still stays on to keep the back line intact. Priest is there as well. Set. Inside day 22, the Panthers with Jet. They go to the open side to Marquez. He'll be happy to take two defenders with him. Orsley's one of them. Dumps his man to the ground. Cup, se Cup semi-finals. What a thriller we are seeing right here. Nice dummy there from the possum. He goes to Duran. Holds it up nicely and in from the side. Nine beyond the ball. Over there, back there, back there, back there. So Davenport will tap and go quickly. They realize they need to score twice, but they're far from the trial line. Jet goes back to the, the open side. Space eventually appears. Good collision on Luke Larkin. And still going. Larkin providing a real nuisance here for the Gales defense. Durant gets all over this. And it's forced to turn over. Alejandro Durant, the man from Chicago, gets a steal. The vampire sets off. They've got to finish this. Boston's on the outside. There's only a couple of whippy tacklers. Jet's one of them. He was one of them. The ball's thrown Back. and knocked backwards. They're playing Back. on. Murphy throws a dummy. Crazy legs is over. And St. Mary's surely will go to the cup final. Well, that should push them through to 14 minutes. Thanks, man. They made it a little difficult for themselves there. Button and Duran trying to link up. The great turnover work from that man, Duran. There's Button. This pass right here. Well, I don't think you realize that Duran's yes, four sir. foot eleven. He may have thrown that one just a touch high on the little man. Result is the same nonetheless. A try for St. Mary's. And Young it will look to convert. Ronan Murphy with the score, the 18-year-old. And the conversion is successful. Moments away from full time, and it's 33 points to 12. St. Mary Scales players getting a rest right now, and rightly so. Wholesale changes, and the siren does sound in the background. Audsley still on the field, though, and he will let this one bounce here for the Vampire. Should just kick it out, though, and take to the cup final. You don't want to mess around and force any injuries here, but Audsley, he doesn't mind. He'll go through under the sticks. Dylan Audsley. Oh my goodness, Hurricane Orsley, as he's called knee parts, destroys the defense, and that's the game. Well, they've got the viewers in Northern California tuning in. They want to give them a show. And Orsley, he started it off, only fitting he finishes it. Now the recovery begins for St. Mary's as they book their ticket through to the final. Later here this evening, who will they face? That's the question. Lindenwood and Utah still to play, but St. Mary's the victors here a great performance from the gales to get through a very plucky injury riddled davenport oh plenty of highlights to talk about it all started with your man dylan orsley he had a great game this is the opening try of the match orsley may uh, may have appeared he picked up a bump or a knock at some point in the game he was a little ginger there through the second half davenport they were able to get back in with cheslick it was very tight in the first half, but Davenport was just not able to keep with St. Mary's. Matthews, he was going to go on and get a double. This was the first of two. So he dots it down close to the dead ball line. It was all class. Audsley and that man there, Younger, affectionately dubbed the Vampire. He had a fantastic game. And this was a huge loss for Davenport. When Zarnecki went off the field after this performance, 